One of the easiest ways to evaluate a learning intervention is the use of pre- and post-tests. In essence, this is done by administering a test at the beginning of the instruction to determine the pre-existing knowledge or preconceived ideas of the learner. Then at the end of the session, you administer the same test which should demonstrate some changes which could indicate learning has occurred. Here's an example from a webinar I attended recently. The speaker, shark expert Dr. Neil Hutchinson was giving a talk about sharks in Singapore. Right at the start of the session, he played a word association game with the attendees. He asked them, if I were to say shark, what words come to mind? This was the word cloud of the responses he received. Some words that stood out include words like jaws, blood, dangerous, scary, big, teeth, and fish. If I were to guess, all these are stereotypes about sharks based on a certain movie from the 70s about some guys needing a bigger boat. After an interesting 16 minutes of sharing about sharks in Singapore, where Dr. Hutchinson also shared about his own research on bamboo sharks, he asked the same question again. If I were to say shark, what words come to mind? We now see a totally different word cloud with words like endangered, beautiful, vulnerable, misunderstood, and fascinating. The word jaws is still there though, but I guess 40 years in pop culture has had an impact. With pre and post tests like this, internal validity or the confidence that we have in the cause and effect relationship of the learning intervention is more easily discernible. But with a small sample group of only 100 attendees, and no control group, external validity or the ability to generalize these results to a wider population might come into question. So this talk might not be the silver bullet to turn people into shark conservationists. But hey, helping 100 people overcome the stereotype of sharks being big, dangerous, and scary fish with teeth is still a step forward. Hey, thanks for watching till the end of the video. If you found value in this content, please help me out by liking the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications as well.